Hey guys, so after over three years on YouTube, I'm finally doing a Q&A video. So basically, I just went on Twitter and Instagram and asked people to ask me questions. Starting with the first question, which is, what are three other hobbies slash interests aside from filming slash YouTube? And that's kind of a hard one because, well, making videos is basically everything I do. And, I mean, it's not that I don't do other stuff, it's just that that stuff is all kind of connected to making videos because I love going to museums, but I take my camera with me and I film everything and I love going hiking and, and geocaching and stuff like that and I take my camera with me and I film everything. So even the things that I do that aren't necessarily, like, to make videos are to make videos. Basically, I like, um just being creative I guess I love drawing I love you know being able to design stuff but yeah I'm not joking when I say that making videos is who I am because it kind of finds its way into everything that I do so just naming three things that are not connected to making videos at all isn't impossible <laughs> anyway what's the worst thing about being a youtuber how do I say this without coming off very full of myself. Um, it's just so frustrating seeing channels that are just complete and other bullshit have so many subscribers and I just don't get it. If you had to move, what would be your top three places to live? I love Austria but in my brain when I think of the future I don't think of it here. And that's because I want to work in film and the film industry in Austria just isn't that big and so I, in, in my brain I know I'm gonna have to leave if I want to do that, if I want to pursue that. So um, my number one place to go would be the US because that's where, you know, film lives I guess um, but um, you know there's also the UK, Canada and I'm gonna say a fourth one even though I should only say three uh, because I'm gonna have to throw Australia in there because you know basically I want to live in a country where I can speak English. What is your best and worst memory ever? Worst memory is easy. Last November when I had the worst anxiety attack I have ever had and I thought I was dying but best memory is a bit harder and I actually don't think I can name just one because there's just so many amazing memories and nah, can't, I can't pick one. It's impossible. Do you like video games? I don't play video games because I suck at them. I am, however, really fascinated with video games, like the way they are made and the way they tell stories because, you know, you, you, the viewer is part of the story and it's just... It's the reason I don't play them is just because I get frustrated when I'm bad at things and I want to know about the story and if I can't progress because I'm so bad because I always end up dying or something then I don't know about the story and then I lose motivation to do it. And that's why I don't play video games, but yeah. What made you like filming and editing to begin with? I don't know. I just started making videos, it just came naturally and I started falling more and more in love with it and somehow I ended up here. <laughs> Who is your favorite YouTuber? If I have to name just one, I'm gonna have to say Casey Neistat. Favorite movie slash TV series? Favorite movie, all the Lord of the Rings movies, and TV series, Monk. I've literally seen every episode like a hundred times and I always end up quoting it and people don't get it because they it's weird. It's actually weird. <laughs> if you could listen to five songs for the rest of your life, what would they be? Now this is a hard question, because I listen to over 3,000 songs and I love them all. But, um, okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, number one is easy. Number one is Sunday Smile by Jake Troth, which is my all-time favorite song, so that's obvious. But, um, Forget and Not Slow Down by Reliant K, Dare You To Move by Switchfoot, Clean by Taylor Swift, and the last one's kind of, uh... God damn it. Um, I'm just gonna go with Not I by I Fight Dragons because I love that song and just the first one I thought of right now. But there's probably like 3,000 other songs that should be on that list. 
what's your favorite breed of dog? Now, most of you know this, but I am the biggest cat person ever. That does not mean, however, that I don't like dogs. I love dogs. Dogs are awesome and I don't have a favorite breed of dog because I think they're all adorable and that's a really lame answer, but it's just... Thoughts on the American election? Well, this just took a turn. Um, I never talk about politics because I don't like politics and I think it's just, it's just a topic that I don't enjoy talking about. But in this case, you know, since it's been brought up, let's do this. When I first heard about Trump, being a presidential candidate, I thought it was a joke. Like, I literally thought it was some kind of social experiment kind of thing where they want to prove that literally any idiot can be a candidate to become president if they have enough money or something. I don't, I don't even know. If you're from the US, please go vote. So that idiot doesn't become president because I don't want to live in a world where someone like that can convince people that he can be president of the United States and also I don't think that someone like that should be in charge of a country and especially not one as powerful as the United States so please go vote to make sure that that doesn't happen. Hardest geocache to find. I am what you'd call a part-time geocacher, so there's probably a lot more harder geocaches all around. But the hardest geocache to find that I can think of right now is the one that's in my um, Geocaches Are Crazy main channel video that was inspired by the movie Groundhog Day and you had to wake up every day at 6 a.m. and go to this website to get the questions and you had to watch the movie like 10,000 times and then you had to also rope down into a cave and just it, it was it was pretty hard to find I think. <laughs> Any creepy geocache stories? Now I've never found a skull or other human body part when I was geocaching if that's what you're implying, but um, this is not technically my story, it's my parents' story because they're like full-on crazy geocachers. When they were out geocaching in a forest one day, they came across a group of people wearing tinfoil hats talking about like signals or waves or shit like that. <laughs> so that's pretty creepy. How do you decide what to shoot for your videos? I always have my camera with me and I'm always filming stuff. It's just what I do and basically how I decide what I use for the videos is what I see in my brain when I'm writing the text. I always have these pictures that go along with what I'm writing and either I have something that fits that or I make something that fits that. Would you rather live without internet for 10 years or drink water instead of coffee for the rest of your life? This question was asked by my friend from college that you know from this video and clearly he already knows me too well because I'm gonna have to go with drink water instead of coffee for the rest of my life because I can live without coffee. Coffee just makes life better. But I can't live without the internet because then what would I do with my life? If you'd get the chance from like a magical free wish or something to get a skill slash talent, what would it be? This one's easy. I'd want to be so goddamn talented at filmmaking that they have to let me make my movie. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? You know what? I'd rather be attacked by a bear because I've seen a whole lot of bees out in the wild but I've never seen a bear in the wild so if I was attacked by one at least I would have seen one before I died. What a great note to end this on. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these. Okay, bye.